Hi everyone, happy Monday morning, yay. <laughs> um, I had a request yesterday for a look with this Laura Mercier palette that I used in my Sunday tutorial um, using the navy. And so I have my face essentially done. I don't have lipstick on yet or eyeshadows, liners, etc. So I thought I would just do this with you. And, um, and I will also kind of give you more of an impression of what I think of this little palette. Ozzie is in here, so if you hear her, that's what's going on. Ozzy, do you want to say, come say hello? I think she's coming. <laughs> Hi. Come say good morning. Good morning. Where are you going today? Um, Pursue. Yeah, it's going to be fun. All right, are you going to go play Legos? Mm -hmm. Okay, just be quiet, okay? All right, bye. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in and just show you um, what I'm doing. I always feel like I have to kind of hunch down because my chair might be just a tad high for this situation. So if I have look strange that's what's going on <laughs> um or that's one reason i look strange there's probably other reasons <laughs> let me grab some brushes i probably should have done that before i had you here but that's okay okay so i grabbed a handful of brushes this is a sigma shadow brush this is a mac 217 sonia Kasha crease brush the uh, real techniques base shadow brush and the sigma e55 so i don't know really what i'm going to use but i just thought i'd a little selection there. So I'm going to start with this E55. This is the synthetic E55 and I'm going to use this color Cameo which is a slightly orangey gold kind of color and you know I have a thing for orange especially when we're working with blue because blue and orange are literally complementary colors and um, I am all about the color wheel with makeup. I know that's really very elementary school art class, but I really believe in it. And so if I'm using a navy, I almost always use some kind of little bit of an orange accent somewhere. And I do, I really like navy. I don't use it quite as much as I used to, but um, it's not because I don't love it. I'm going to grab another color out of my drawer that I've talked about a lot. So I'm sure you're like, oh, here it comes. <laughs> um, oh boy, let's see if I can find it. Sorry, should have been more prepared for this. Okay, well, you know what? I think it's packed up somewhere, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I was gonna use Mac Saffron. You guys know I love that color, but I don't know what I did with it. So anyway, back to what I was doing. Um, so that was the color Cameo on the lids. And it's kind of a yellowy shimmer with gold. Okay. Next, I'm going to take... Um, what do I want to do here? I'm going to use the the navy next with the, the base shadow brush as a crease brush. And I'm going to... It is a matte navy, so I really don't want any extra. So... I just tapped it off. And I'm just gonna use it as a crease color. And I'm gonna blend the heck out of it because it is strong. This is a really, really nice palette for the mattes. They really are blendable and soft. I really am liking this. And it's a funny thing because people have told me since I posted that first video that they thought about buying it and they didn't. <laughs> but I don't have other Laura Mercier shadows so I'm just glad to have it. I pulled out the um, Urban Decay Naked 2 brush. And I'm just going to blend that. I'm going to blend it up a little bit. Okay. So that's how that's starting to look. Next, I'm going to take the same Real Techniques brush. I'm wiping it off on a rag. And I'm going to take this dark brown color called Rich Coffee. And I'm going to use that as an inner corner, or an outer corner, outer V kind of color. Okay. All right. 
it. Next I'm going to take this shadow brush and the color guava, which is, shoot, where is it? Right here. It's kind of a shimmering pink. I'm just going to put some on a brush, flick it off, and go right there. Just kind of to blend and brighten a little bit. All right. So then I'm going to take one of my very favorite brushes of all time. This is the Essence of Beauty pencil brush. It's called the Fine Crease Brush. And I'm going to take Deep Night, the Navy, and I'm going to take that right there. I go just about halfway. I'm going to wipe that off and then I'm going to use again Cameo. That was the first color I used, the orangey gold. Take it right there to blend and kind of brighten under the eyes. And then I'm going to wipe that off again and I'm going to use the color Sunlit, which was the um, kind of yellowy gold. Tap that off as an inner corner highlight with that same brush. See how you, this brush is very versatile. When they, they do periodically go on sale at CVS, so usually it's buy one get one half off. I try to buy like a couple more. I think I need a couple more for my kit because sometimes I have multiple models to work on. Okay, so then that's essentially the shadows I'm going to use. I will take this 217 that I took out and use the, the vanilla color in the palette as a brow bone color. Just like that. And um, then I'm going to use my Stila Cajal in Sapphire, which sadly has been discontinued. is a really pretty navy liner. This is probably the only navy I really, really enjoy for water lining. Now I know I've gone over this before with you guys, but I'll just remind you. I would love to use cream-based gel liner type things, but I'm super allergic. However, on, um, my, on um, clients, I do use those. So. And I do like them. I'm going to take a push liner brush like this. It could be any one. This one happens to be the MAC. And I am going to get this wet with the e.l.f. Mist and Set Spray. But you could use water. It doesn't really matter. Just gonna use, and then I'm going to take that brown, the dark brown color called Rich Coffee. And I'm going to show you how this works. So push liner brush literally means kind of pushing it into the lash line. I mean, that's what I'm using it for. That's not what the liner brush means. Obviously, it's Monday morning. Okay, so same thing on this side. And the only other little addition I will do is I'm going to... I need a mirror for this. <laughs> I am going to take this brush, come up from the lower lash line, create a line right there, and then I'm going to fill that in. Hopefully that made sense the way I just described that, but okay. So I have a little bit of a hiccup right, right there, but I'm just going to take a little bit of shadow and fix it. Okay, so that's the eye look. I am going to real quick use my setting spray because I keep forgetting to use this even though I really like it. This happens to be the all-nighter spray. This was in a... Sephora 500 point perk. So I'm going to give this a go today and see 
how that holds everything in. So you spray that first and then do your mascara. You don't want to do it in the other order or it could get kind of ugly. You watching mommy? I'll do about two coats of Voluminous. I'm sorry, I should have told you that. Voluminous mascara from L'Oreal. This is the standard black. I do like the carbon black better. I would almost call this a really dark gray, but it's fine. Okay. And now I'm going to use... Just wipe off my lip balm a little bit. There is a color I'm looking for here, I swear. Here it is, Cinnamon Kiss. This is from Too Faced. Um, I like these lipsticks. Not enough to pay full price, but I like them. And then I'm going to top that with Mudslide from Buxom. So that's the look of the day. I hope that was helpful. I um, just wanted to show you how I use navies. I like navy. Um, I think it's easier to use than black, and I think it looks good on a variety of eye colors. Um, so if you have any questions about that, let me know. Thank you for the request, as always, and thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.